Good evening, Nigeria. Good evening to all CEOs, bondwets, and prospective beneficiaries of all the grants we have subscribed to in Nigeria. I am Temitope Eluyemi Balogun. I see it very important to come out again this evening to give you updates of what is happening or what we have done so far. I have seen many people sending messages to me that they thought we have been silenced or we are tired. I want you to know that I can never be tired. We are still moving and on daily basis we are working. We just decided to not be giving updates as we normally do before so that we can be focused. But this evening I want to talk briefly about what is going on and I want I want to admonish you if truly you are looking for the truth and you st you stand for the truth I want to admonish you let's work together and achieve this let's work, work together and receive this victory by the grace of God on the UAAG of Apostle Dr. Ken Owakama, I don't need to go back to the explanation again. I don't need to be telling you what and what happened again. But right now, we are waiting for the reply from the CBN, from the Minister for Finance and the Secretary General of the Federation. And I think there is another one. We are waiting for the reply through CDHR. We are waiting eagerly for the reply. So that reply will determine our next action. And like I told you, it is very difficult for anyone to sweep this movement under the carpet again. It is very, very difficult. We have gone very far and we are confident because this Nigerian belong to all of us. We have been hearing our government is bad, our government is bad. We want to use this one to let Nigeria know that it is not everything they told us that is right about our government. So therefore, let no one deceive you that we will not get the answer. Let no one deceive you because we are the one that have moved from one office to the other and we know what we have had so far and what is happening right now. So be rest assured that we will get the answer. So let's wait, let's pray UAAG uh, document is truly in the hand of the presidency. Let's pray that the government is helping them to keep the documents. If there is nothing like that, then you will know that we are not lying because as we speak, we, all the agencies in Nigeria, are already aware of our movement and uh, we don't want to do it the wrong way and we don't want to be in Nori. That is why you see us that we are following the process and we know Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. Those of you that do not know what they have done in the past, that is why you think they can be bribed or bribed, they can be bought over and you think I personally can be bought over. Probably someone might have come out before or you have been bought over before that's why you think it is possible no don't let them use that one to deceive you or to cajole you to another another realm of extortion because committee for the defense of human rights we are standing for the truth and they will surely do the justice on our behalf so that is about uaag i'm trying to make this thing very this voice not very uh, not lengthy because if i'm to be telling you bit by bit uh you will uh, you will fight me again that i'm talking too much then uh, secondly we have um, we are now expecting as we know that we subscribe to uh, nearly hundreds of uh, of uh, grants in nigeria 
we subscribe to nearly 100 of grants though some people say it's 121 but those that we have been able to trace the genesis at least it's over 15 now so out of this we are moving from current to as we know i want to remind us i want to remind us of what they promise us like uh, the person in uh, item osim promise us that he is going to give us 300,000 naira per beneficiary we were meant to pay 1,000 naira per head then i paid while i was away while i was not in nigeria i sent my money through the person that uh, was were registering it that time and um, my members paid too we paid in thousands of naira that is on the item osim so item osim is going to be invited very shortly to showcase his document so to showcase his document that uh, authenticate the 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 grant that he promised us then so we want the cdhr to help us ask him what happened on the way so even if there is problem they should be able to trace it through the document that item will say we uh, tender before them and we are also reminding you that very shortly mama supreme of a supreme family entertainment also will be invited i told you what she discussed with me when she called me on the 8th of july 2024 this month but that will not make me i've told her already that she should package her documents whatever needed to be done she should continue doing it if there is a grant for us but she made me to understand and i'm still laughing at our people because i don't really understand mama supreme told me that her grant that she was processing that time that she was promising us that we even did a thanksgiving at badagri that we did thanksgiving on the disbursement she said the grant crashed along the way that is what she told me on the 8th of this month and she now told me that the one she's uh, processing now is the is a struggle is the local one so those of us that heard about uh, what i said in my platform i am telling you what mama supreme told me and i'm not fighting her i've told her i've told her she told me also that she is not uh, giving any beneficiary money that this particular one is just for is just for um, cluster heads alone so i'm surprised that uh, what she told me is different from what is happening in the grant community again as they i was told now that they were they have invited the super coordinators and they are now uh, preparing for disbursement i don't know if the disbursement has now covered the beneficiary but i'm telling you of a truth what mama supreme told me which i have the proof with me to date and i want to also remind us that mama supreme promised us 300 thousand naira per beneficiary that is what she promised us well that the the grand crash along the road doesn't mean there will never be any document at least there are some documents before the grant crashed so we can see make use of the uh, document to be sure that she really meant well for us she she intended to give us the grant but something happened and it crashed so we we need her to showcase a document before the grant crashed as she said so we, we she she will be invited also and all this thing i'm talking is within this period just very shortly just very shortly within now and in the next second week of august we must be getting ready to be done with at least 20 grant handlers then we are looking at uh we are inviting also uh our uh, another grand handler though in his own way he he, he said he's going to I, i'm talking of a i'm talking of a power of five i'm talking of power of five uh, ceo he promised us 500 million per ceo that we are going to use 300 million naira 
for for either community project that at the end the remaining 200 million he said we should we will use it for for our own business i think later she he even promised again that he's going to give us two two hundred thousand per beneficiary so we we are inviting a uh, power of five ceo to also showcase the documents of the grant the, of the opportunity that she promised us this january that uh, the donor is even around so we want him to give us the proof tender the proof of all these documents we know that she you can remember she made some uh, he, they made some videos concerning the document of power of five uh, of his grant so we are inviting power of five also to showcase our uh, document we can't uh, him also to be grant handler we yes she is he is also a grant handler because he came out and promised all CEOs that registered that paid ten thousand naira for his uh, pro uh, t-shirt program that he will give us five hundred million naira. We are we will use a uh, three hundred million for project. So we are inviting also a uh, CEO of Power of Five. Then we are inviting a uh, Epic Charity Foundation. We are inviting Epic Charity Foundation. He also will come with his document. Let the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, let them have interaction with him. Let him explain everything we saw in that document. Let him confirm the document to be his own and let him explain all the acknowledgement we saw in that document. Let him confirm it to the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. So we... We, we we are inviting the CEO of Epic Charity Foundation too. All these people I'm mentioning are within this week and next week by the special grace of God. They may change the date because we don't want to rush them. Neither we want to put them under duress. Like I told you, I am not fighting them. All I needed from them is the proof that truly they are processing grant or may the grant is already in nigeria there are, there must be something to show that truly they they have grants so we are inviting